after all the great things that we saw on the offensive side of the ball, first two games of the season, that was all completely fucking gone in this game against the Philadelphia Eagles where the Saints scored 12 points. They went from averaging 44, 45 points a game to scoring 12 points at home. And going into the fourth quarter, they had three points. And they scored on their opening drive and then did not score for three full quarters. This was just one of those games where from the only reason the Saints actually had a chance in the end to win this game was because Nick Sirianni is a fucking retard by going for all those fourth downs. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get this good out of the way now because there's a lot of shit we got to talk about that's not good after this. But first, the defense sold at the end. Yes, on that third and 16, you know, we're up by two or three points. I forget what it was, but it was a situation. They No, it was 12 to 7. And they needed a touchdown. We got them on third and 16 on their own side of the field. And Dallas Goddard gets like a 60-yard fucking play. George Kittle shit from 2019 all over again, whatever. The defense literally held them to zero points through three quarters. And I know they sold so bad at the end. But, like, you had so many opportunities to close this game out. You had so many opportunities to close this game out. And before I go over that, I'm going to shout out the defense. They did everything, and I mean everything they fucking could. The Eagles had 406 total yards of offense, but we forced three turnovers, two turnovers on downs, an interception, a forced fumble on Jalen Hurts, and we also had a blocked punt that put us inside the 20-yard line in the fourth quarter. What did the Saints do with that? Remember when we used to shit on Pete Carmichael for running up the middle all the time? He ran up the middle four times with Alvin Kamara. Not once, not twice, not even three times. Four times, four times, four, four times, four times, four times. In a game where you should have learned from the Eagles to take the points. And I'm not even, honestly, I'm not even that upset about the decision to go for it on fourth and one. But you also have to consider that it's three to zero. And if you couldn't get a yard, like you haven't been able to run the ball all game. So there, there's context you have to consider. And if you're going to go for it on fourth and one, is running up the middle for the fourth time in a row really the answer? And you know, you know what would have been really nice to have in that situation? Right there, Taysom Hill. Also, Eric McCoy. Eric McCoy getting injured killed everything we had on offense. Because after that first drive, we had nothing. Absolutely nothing. I mean, fucking Derek Carr. Did not have a good game. And it wasn't even all his fault. I'm mostly blaming this on the offensive line. If any, offensive line and Clint Kubiak. Clint Kubiak was our savior the first two games, but he was terrible today. He was absolutely terrible today. We talked so much about the creativity he brings on offense. Alvin Kamara had 26 carries for 87 yards. And it, I swear to you, at least 20 of those had to have been up the middle. And I cannot get over that sequence after that blocked punt in the fourth quarter where you go up the middle four straight times. Now, I do think the refs had us fucked up. I do believe that that was a first down. I don't know why Dennis Allen didn't challenge it. I don't know why they didn't look at it. I don't know. But the fact of the matter is the Saints should have won this game, and I can't blame the refs on this. You can't You can't blame the refs on this. I mean, you, you the refs, you, you can't leave a game up to the refs. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's that close, like, the call was, it was not the right call on fourth and one. It just was not the right call on fourth and one. I completely disagree with it. We had, Derek Carr had no time to throw today, threw everything off for them, but in a game where you're missing, you see the Ruiz missed some time in this game, Eric McCor was out, so you had fucking Lucas Patrick at center, who was so dog, oh my god, he's so dog shit. I I'm actually cannot even describe words. I don't know how to put it into words to describe how fucking dog shit of a center he is. We were so fucked without Eric McCoy on the offensive end. But Derek Carr went 14-25 for 130 yards, a touchdown, and a pick, and the pick came at the end of the game. Now, Derek Carr did lead us on a game-winning drive at the end of the game. Or, a, a game, I said a game-winning drive. A go-ahead drive to go up 12-7 to on a beautiful touchdown on Chris Olave when he butt booty burned C.J. Gardner-Johnson. But... The defense lost a touchdown on third and 16. I mean, it's just, it's the Saints way. And you know what? I'm not even that upset because it just felt like right after that block punt. I mean, all the turnovers you got in this game, like Tyron Matthew had a pick in the end zone. Carl Granderson forced a fumble when the Eagles were driving. We had two or three fourth down stops. We stopped a, a, a play out of the tush-push formation, out of the tush 
push formation right before halftime. And you cannot capitalize on anything. Another issue on the offense is the fact that there's no no one is stepping up outside of Chris Olave and Rashid Shaheed. Now, Chris, Rashid Shaheed did not do jack shit today. He had five targets, no catches. But in a game where Rashid Shaheed isn't, get, isn't getting going like he does, there's no receivers to step up. I mean, your next option was Mason Tipton, and he had two catches for 11 yards. He's just not good. I mean... Cedric Wilson had one catch for three yards. The tight ends were non-existent. Foster Moreau was getting destroyed in the block. They had him blocking the entire game for the most part, and he was just getting destroyed. Holding calls, getting blown up. I mean, there was just nothing. Just nothing. You got to have – I understand A.T. Perry's been having a rough, some rough practices, and he's been dealing with an illness and some injuries and stuff like that. But you got you to gotta get him back in this game, and you got to get him – Involved in the offense because there's no receivers to step up outside of Chris Olave and Rashid Shahid. Outside of Olave, Alvin Kamara was your next best option. And most of his receiving game yardage came on that 27-yard catch where he pretty much mossed Zach Bond in coverage. And, dude, I, this is a tough loss. This is this is those games that you look back on at the end of the season that you should have won. And it, we're like, we talk about this with the Saints every single season. They just cannot put playoff teams away when they have now doubt the Dallas Cowboys were a playoff caliber team and I do believe that is still a good win for this football team and I do think the Saints have shown a lot more improvement in the last two years three years but we're it's still with the consistencies I'm not expecting us to go out there and score 40 points every week but like there was just no creativity on offense. All they were doing every first down, they would start a drive up the middle, second down up the middle, and then you're third and long, and then you. We even tried running up the up the middle on third and four and third and five. It just was not working. And in this game, you actually the the thing against the Eagles that have played the Saints so bad is Jalen Hurts on the ground game, and you contained him very well. He had eight carries for 25 yards, and you forced a fumble on one of his scramble attempts. You stopped. You stop them out of the tush push formation where they try to get you the trick you by going on the outside. They didn't have AJ Brown. Devontae Smith got knocked out of this game. On that final drive, the only player that was a threat was Dallas Goddard. And he gets his biggest play of the game. It's just such it's not complimentary football. Now I know like I said, the defense sold, but this is on the offense. Really hope Eric McCoy's okay. Um Cesar Ruiz, I do believe, came back in the game, but he played like fucking dog shit anyway. The, the only, I mean, it, this is just, I'm running out of things to say. And also, one more thing, if you're going to run up the middle 26 times with Alvin Kamara, I know Taysom Hill was out, but why do you have Jamal Williams then? I know Jamal Williams sucks and he has no burst, but you at least have to keep them honest. You can't run with just one running back. Like, there's just no creativity whatsoever. There's definitely some good to take away from this game. Don't get me wrong. But it's just situational football. Like, what are you doing? How do you let Dallas Goddard get that wide open in that situation? How do you not adjust when your run game is doing nothing the entire game? How do you not adjust? On the opening drive, you saw Chris Olave was cooking those corners on that third. The Eagles secondary sucks. It has sucked all season. And even though your offensive line is getting butt bootied, you know what the quick passing game is, right? You know what a slant route is. You saw with Michael Thomas for so many years. You know what quick screens are. Uh, you know what quick passing plays are. This sucks. I mean, we got Atlanta next week. Atlanta plays the Chiefs tonight. The Bucks did lose to the Broncos today for some reason. They just got absolutely destroyed by the Broncos. 26 to 7. So we're still tied with the Bucks for first place. But the Falcons somehow beat the Chiefs tonight. It's a three way tie. And the, the game, the Falcons game coming up, coming up in week four is going to be a massive game. We need to win that game because right after that, you got the Chiefs. I know the Chiefs have looked pretty mid so far this year in their first two games, but it's Andy Reid, it's Patrick Mahomes. So you're, I mean, that's going to be a very tough game. This is a tough one. There's definitely good things to take, away from this, to take away from this game. The season is not over, but it is really unfortunate to see these things that have plagued us for so long come right back to bite us when we thought they were finally gone. Clint Kubiak's going to have to get back in the lab and find some creativity on offense and figure out how to manage when Rashid Shahid's not involved. you got to get a third receiver involved in the game. 
Hopefully, Taysom Hill's back next week. That can fix a lot of our problems, but you got to get more creative in the run game. They, he did such a great job with that in the first two weeks, and there was just none of that today. Just none whatsoever. So, hopefully, we can figure some shit out. The season is not over. It's week two, or it's week three. It's week three. The season is not over, but that's a that's a game that we definitely should have won. And you're gonna we're gonna look back. I'm almost positive we're gonna look back on this at the end of the year, but we'll see what happens. I'm not I'm not as upset as I typically am when we lose games like this because it just felt like we didn't deserve to win this game from the jump, to be honest. So just gotta regroup for Atlanta and we'll see what happens from here. So thank you guys for watching and. See you guys next week for Atlanta.